Hello everyone! So, I'm not gonna lie, I almost forgot to film this video. I finished pre-filming yesterday and I was like, yes, I'm all done! And then I was like, crap, I still have to film my beginning of the school year video because I have done one of these videos for the past three years, I believe. At the beginning of every school year, I kind of talk about my schedule, my plans for the year, and everything like that. And this is a big year because this is my freshman year of college. Yes, I am 19 years old and I am going to my freshman year of college this year. Very, very excited. Uh, we move in on my birthday, on my 19th birthday, uh, which is great. Not really, because no one knows it's my birthday so I don't get to celebrate, but uh, it's still pretty cool and I will be 19 throughout the entire year. I'm always so much older than my peers. <laughs> Anyways, I figured I would go through all of the different things that are happening this year, including like my major, my schedule, work, clubs, uh, plans, stuff like that, book plans, stuff like that. Um, so anyways, if you guys did not know and haven't seen some of my previous videos where I talk about it, I am a nutrition major with a certificate in sustainable food and farming. I have always kind of wanted to go into nutrition and I am very, very happy that I am finally kind of going to college and really gonna do it! I'm gonna be a nutrition major! I feel like I've been kind of thinking of myself as a nutrition major for quite a while, but um, I originally wanted to do psychology or nutrition, like through high school I always was wishy-washy between them. I did AP Psych, hated it. So nutrition! <laughs> if I don't like nutrition, I'm gonna be a farmer, guys. I guess that's my backup plan. But I picked nutrition because I really, really enjoy nutrition, like, as a science, I enjoy it. Um, also, my mom is diabetic, so I already know quite a lot about the kind of field and um, what it means to be a dietitian and everything, and that is what I'm working for. I am working towards an RD, which is Registered Dietitian, which includes a bachelor's degree, which is a four-year degree, and then an internship of, I believe, 18 months where you work in a hospital. But um, the internship is no joke. I'm going to the school that has the highest acceptance rate in my uh, state, which is only like 55%, uh, and that's considered extremely high. Most schools it's like 30%, because to get into this internship you have to have like a 3.6 GPA, which is hard in college, and like a couple hundred hours of working in a hospital setting. So that's gonna be cray. But who knows? I might do something totally different with a nutrition degree. You can do so much with a nutrition degree. I might be a PA, I might go into a doctorate. Who knows? It'll be crazy. But, um, nutrition major, and then I am doing a certificate in food and farming, which a lot of people question me about. Like, that has nothing to do with nutrition. I just did it because I like farms. I like, I've worked on a farm, I enjoy farming, I love gardening, and I love farm animals. So, I'm literally just doing it to play with the goats. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys my schedule. I believe I'm doing 18 credits this first semester because, fun fact about nutrition, um, we have so many freaking required classes, like, I don't even know when I'm going to do gen eds. So I am doing biology 151, which also has a lab, obviously, or, yeah, or a discussion, a discussion and a lab, I believe. Um, I am doing a sci-fi seminar, which we read a lot of sci-fi books and we talk about them. Fun! I'm obviously doing Nutrition 13002, which comes with a lecture, and obviously it's the most basic nutrition class ever. A lot of people take it as a gen ed, but I'm taking it as my major thing. So, yes. And then I'm also doing uh, Intro to Botany, which is for my certificate, um, because uh, gardening. So, what are my plans for this year? If you guys don't know, my overall plan is to do my four years and my internship and study abroad for one semester, which even one semester might be really difficult because, uh, like I said, nutrition, we have a lot of required classes that we have to do to graduate on time. Um, so I literally just have to save all of my gen eds to do during my study abroad, which I am planning on going to Korea. My family doesn't really want me to, uh, so I might go to Germany, but I'm, I'm going to say Korea, okay? <laughs> Because that's where I want to go. But for like extracurriculars and like work and stuff like that, I am planning on joining Goat Herding, which is a club, like a legitimate club, um, where you herd the goats. Like, I don't know what sounds more fun than goat herding, in my opinion, but I am also going to be trying out for women's club lacrosse. Uh, at my school, because if you guys didn't know, I've played lacrosse for like seven years. I'm a goalie, and um, 
I don't know, I was like, I took a break, I didn't play in my senior year, so um, I really wanted to get back into it, but at the moment those are the only things I think I'm going to be joining. I might join a book club if they have one that interests me, um, and my friend and I might join that, but at the moment that is kind of what I know I'm going to be doing. As for work, I am actually keeping my job at my like in my town, which might sound weird because I am going to a school that is an hour and a half away. I'm not commuting, I am living there. Um, but I'm keeping my job in my town um, because I'm going to be coming back like once a month to just work because if I don't then I have to fill out a ton of paperwork and I don't feel like doing that. Um, so I'm keeping my job here, but I'm also, I have also been applying for other jobs. I applied for a gardening position, I applied for a couple office jobs, and the most exciting one I applied for was a video assistant to like film all of the sports games and like talent shows and stuff like that around campus. Um, because if you guys didn't know, I took video production and did like tons of stuff for my town. I used to film all the time for like our town TV network and stuff. So I'm pretty good at it, I guess. And um, I applied for that. So I'm hoping that's the job that I get. But who knows, I will be trying to look for a part-time job. But it's not my highest priority, so... But overall, I'm just really, really excited for this year because obviously it's my freshman year of college. I'm going to be living in the dormitories. Um, I, I, we have normal dorms. Like I see so many people talking about as freshmen going in and like living in a suite or a, an apartment. We get the most basic dorms. We have doubles. Doubles. So I'm in a double with one other girl. Her name is Maddie. She seems really cool. And yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm gonna be in a box. Like, that's it. Like, no fancy suites. We have to use a public bathroom and crap like that. It's disgusting and I'm not excited for it at all. But, um, that is my situation for now. But anyways, most of you guys are here to probably talk about books because that's what my booktube channel is about, is books. Um, basically, at the moment, if I'm 100% honest, I haven't been in, like, a book mood. I was in quite a bit of a reading slump um, in August, but like just genuine, like generally, like recently, I just haven't, I haven't felt like reading, I haven't really felt like buying books, I haven't really felt like doing anything with books or like the bookish community, which is weird for me because obviously I'm such a big part, like it's such a big part of my life, but recently I just haven't been wanting to, I guess, so like I'm hoping that doesn't really affect anything, but um, my goal is to read my TBR from now until Christmas and not buy like any books except for anticipated releases to save some money, buy some stuff that I've been really wanting that aren't books, and stuff like that. So I doubt you guys will be seeing book hauls because like again I just I haven't been wanting to buy books because I really haven't been wanting to read, um, but I do plan on buying a couple before Christmas because of like anticipated releases and stuff like that. But I have a TBR of 20 books, and um, I have, I'm away for four months, so I'm planning on reading five books a month. Hopefully, hopefully. But yes, those are my, that's my plan for book reading, it's just like my TBR books. I'm not, I'm gonna seriously try not to buy any books while I'm away, um, because like money, and especially if I don't get a job, like my bank account is gonna die. So, who knows? Reading might be weird just because I'm feeling very weird about it right now. But anyways, I think that is all for this video. Obviously, I am so excited for my first year of college and all of the different things I'm going to get to do and all the reading I'm going to get to do and all the things I'm going to learn and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but anyways, I think that is all for this video and I love you all and I'll see you all soon. Bye!